Hey, it's Fair Sue. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing an uh, inch trim. And I'm trimming today because it is a lengthening day on the lunar hair care chart and I'm going for terminal length. So for me, it makes sense to trim on this day. I am not a cosmetologist. I do not have a license. This is just what works for me and my hair because I have severe trust issues. And since I am gonna go this entire year, that's my tentative goal, no heat, um, I'm gonna end up having to do my own trims. So what I have are a pair of hair shears. I got these at Sally Beauty Supply. They're like 60 bucks. I have a water spritz bottle because I'm gonna be dampening my ends. Got this with Sally as well. And then I have some clean wrap because the most disgusting thing is like hairs in the sink. Drives me nuts. And so what I do is I just take this and put it down over my sink. And then that way after I'm finished trimming my hairs, I just ball this up and throw it away. And I'll have like a thousand little hairs to clean. So I'll just go ahead and get this set up. And this is literally going to take like no time whatsoever. So I'm just putting the clean wrap down and all right, let's do this folks. All right, so I have my hair two strand twisted in the back. They're pretty long, um, but you know, I just don't think that not, wait, I believe that trimming your hair is a good part of healthy hair care. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, there are 14 twists and what I'm going to do, this is how I do it, is I'm going to take the symmetrical ones, stretch them out very far, bring them in the front. I saturate them with water. Like, I mean like soaking wet with water. Stretch them, like pulling very, very tight, like pulling very tightly, and then stretch them down. Stretch, 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 stretch. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and snip the ends. That's it. And then I pull these out the way. Just tie them in a bow. And move on to the next two twists. So I'm gonna go here, the symmetrical twist, stretch them down, pull them around in front of me, pinch, spritz, 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 smooth with my fingers. Stretch them out. Really, really tight. I mean, I'm pulling very, very hard. And then I'm going to let these ends go. They can just go. Bye-bye. And you want to do a clean snip because you don't want any jagged ends. Um, you don't want to cause split hairs when you're trimming your hair. You just want to give them a nice even cut. And there we go. Moving on. Just tie it in a bow. And now these two. Pull it tight, stretch it, soak it, pulling super duper tight, and just bye bye. Bye bye. And they're out of here.
Okay, in the back. This. Kind of take bringing them up over my ears and around. And I mean, you could just see the ends, like they're they're long, but you know, they just like I said, they don't hold the twist very well. Like they're they're tired. They're ready to go to hair heaven. Saturate, twirl, just twirl them around. And just get rid of these tired ends, just about a half of an inch. Pull it even, snip, and just a nice even cut. And that way the hairs, they'll be symmetrical. They'll have healthy ends. Let's see. Um, okay, so I have six more twists. So these two come together. Okay, and since this is the back layer of my hair, I'm pulling these down long, straight, like this, and then just snipping off the ends. Like I said, just a half an inch. Nothing crazy, I don't want, you know, a hair cut. This is literally just a trim, just to get rid of the dead ends. Um, because like I put on the ends butter on the website, you know, it's a fact of life in split you know you have to to groom them you know these are your this is your hair garden you know just like you trim your hedges trim your ends it's just a part of healthy hair maintenance Okay, and this piece right here, that's why it's very important to twist your ends, e I mean, make your twists even, because this piece, for whatever reason, it's it came out of my grip. So I'm just going to pull it down and snip it. There we go. All right, so now I have completely trimmed my hair. It's all done. And uh, in the, <laughs> for the ponytail uh, hairs, wait, oh gosh, let me pay attention to what I'm doing. Just untie the little hair bows. <laughs> Literally, hair bows. Too funny. Um, yeah. That's, that's not really, <laughs> um, too complicated. I hope that, uh, this inspires you to, you know, trim your hair. Like, I didn't take a lot. I was in full control of my hair. 
Um, I was in full control of how much came off. My twists are even. You know, um, But yeah, they're they're good to go. And uh, <laughs> one of my girlfriends told me that, you know, she did the inversion method and one side of her hair grew longer than the other. And I, actually, now that I've done this exercise, I kind of agree. I feel like the right side is longer than the left side. So, sorry, you are not alone, girl. I am right there with you with the <laughs> one side growing longer than the other. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys will join me starting Monday, uh, February 29th leap year for the inversion method challenge. I'm going to do it again. Like this will be technically the month of March, but um, we got this extra day in the year. Let's make it count for something. Let's uh, grow healthy hair that we love. This fair suit, just a quick video, giving you guys some more insight into how I grow my hair. All right, you guys be blessed. Love you. Pieces. Bye-bye.